What is going on everybody? I'm coming here today with some minor Jaguar news. Uh, we exercised a couple of options on some of our cheaper uh, guys on the roster. That would be wide receiver Chris Conley and safety Jared Wilson. Like I said, they weren't for that much. Like we're not really getting any, you know, paying that much out of it. But um, Chris Conley, I'm pretty excited about. I thought that was pretty obvious. Um, you know, we've been through and we've signed these random wide receivers in the past to um, semi big deals, but they haven't, none of them really worked out the way Chris Conley did. You know, when it comes to, when you look back, guys like, you know, Dante Moncrief and I mean, other guys are so far back and so irrelevant now where it's hard for me to even remember. But, you know, Chris Conley, um, he came in, I think he had over 400 receiving yards this week, this year. And just so you guys know, I'm in, I'm in San Francisco right now. <laughs> That's why the crazy background. But, um, you know, Chris Conley, he had over 400 yards. He's a good leader. A big reason why he was on the team was because he was the guy that Nick Foles actually recruited. And it's kind of funny looking back on it now that uh, Nick Foles might not even be the starter next year. But, um, so yeah, I mean, he's good. He's also a really good leader. He's a mature guy, I'm sure. Um, some of our younger wide receivers like uh, DJ Chark, DD Westbrook, Stuff like that, probably learned a good amount from him. So, next up is Jared Wilson. Jared Wilson was a guy that I would say that I might cut in my in the video I made last week about who on the team we need to trim the roster for to make more room. And the guy, I just chose him because I didn't really think he did much. And we were gonna save a little bit of money, but I mean, I'm not mad with us resigning him. I mean, if we resign, if we didn't resign him, we are creating a hole at the position. I think we definitely have room to upgrade at the position. Maybe not through free to see, but I could definitely see the draft. You know, if there's a good place that the the need kind of fills the value, so to speak, I think that might be a good thing to do. So, you know, yeah, that's what happened there. And then I guess just some other news. Um, I read somewhere, I don't know where I read it, but there's a chance that Ngakwe is probably gonna get the franchise tag. And I feel weird even saying that because I don't even know where I found it from, and I don't want to be reporting fake news, but um, hopefully that's the way we go. I mean, if you look at Ngagwe's Twitter, he doesn't sound like he wants to be here. It doesn't. I mean, he's the most cryptic tweeter I've ever seen, and, you know, he shows nothing about wanting to be in Jacksonville. You know, he does a whole... Actually, I don't think he went through his Instagram and deleted all the pictures. I don't think he went, you know, I don't think he went that route, but... Um, he, he clearly doesn't want to be here, but I mean, if we if we tag him with a franchise tag, he really doesn't have a choice. He's going to have to play, and then, you know, I mean, if that's so, if he doesn't want to play for us, definitely slap the tag on him, and if we had to trade, you know, trade him, get some kind of asset for him, um, that wouldn't be bad, but it's just a shame that this team can't resign its best, uh, its best, you know, draft picks that we can get, so. All right, guys, I'm out here. There's an old Navy back there. It's pretty cool out here, so. All right. I'm out.